Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Slimmerance Portable Suction Cup Sit-Up Bar. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up guys, Carlo here, and today I'm gonna to be doing a review on the Slimrance Portable Suction Cup Sit-Up Bar. It's an Amazon product. I bought this for $25.99 on Amazon with free shipping. Um, if you go on Amazon, you look for a suction cup bar, you'll see a ton of different brands. They're all probably made by the same manufacturer that sold out of China. This is the one I went with just based on the price and the reviews it got. So I'll put the, the, the link in the description box if you wanna purchase this exact one. Now, the reason I decided to go with a suction cup sit-up bar was for several reasons, but the main reason is that I've had a lot of lower back pain for the past couple of years. A combination of running, um, you know, road work, plyometrics, doing box jumps, just wear and tear on your body, even though you have good recovery. You know, over time, father time is undefeated, and my lower back has really been painful. So I typically do a lot of my ab work on like a decline a uh, crunch board or a cr uh, crunch uh, seat. So where you lock your, your, your lower leg in with your knees on the two pads, and then you kind of lower down and you come back up and your back is declined. The problem with that is that you put a lot of pressure on your lower back and it causes a lot of pain. So now when I do my crunches, I lay flat on the floor. That way my back is nice and flat. Uh, or when I do leg lifts, I do it flat on the floor. If I'm at the gym, I can use like the corner of the ring, the boxing ring to isolate my feet, tuck my toes underneath it, or just any other kind of device that's solid enough that can hold my feet down when I do sit-ups. Or if I'm at home, I can have somebody hold my feet for me, but that's not always an option. So I looked around and I found the suction cup uh, sit-up bar and I've been seeing a lot more product use suction power. These suction cups are really, really strong. Um, and I've been using this on my garage floor with no issues for a couple of weeks now. Um, I weigh about 150 pounds, uh, you know, fully with my belly full, fully, you know, when I just got done eating. So just again, to give you guys reference and I had no issue with the thing, with this thing losing suction. So, um, you can see the bottom of the suction cup is about you know, six inches in diameter. The way it works is you just have this lever right here. It's really simple. When you push that lever down, uh, it makes and creates suction on the floor. You just have to put water on it. So one thing that people... Sometimes forget is that you need to put some moisture in between 
the suction cup and the surface that you're sticking it on. Obviously, a nice flat slick floor is the best. Uh, if it has texture to it, that's going to reduce the amount of suction power it has because the little divots in the, in the texture of the floor uh, will create like air gaps in between the suction and the floor or whatever the surface is. So be mindful of that. The flatter, the slicker the surface, the better. And then it has these standard foam pads right here. This is what obviously your, your ankles kind of butt up against when you put your feet underneath it. Um, and you also have a height adjustable piece right here that has a, a compression push, push button. Um, so you can adjust the actual height of it, just depending on where you need it to be. You can go lower, you can go higher. It's just really up to you. So you have that adjustable button right there. And that's pretty much it right there. You can see that the construction is made of aluminum. You can take, take these little foam caps off. You can see there it's welded on. Again, I haven't had any issues with it as far as the durability goes. I mean, it's, uh, it's lasted. It's not like a piece of equipment that you're going to be beating on and you're going to be putting a lot of wear and tear on a lot of vibration so i don't really foresee you having any issues with this uh this piece of equipment like falling apart really fast on you unless you like drop it or you misuse it for whatever reason but um, exercise wise you're able to do you know sit-ups crunches um, you can rotate around and also do leg lifts on this um, you can also do nordic hamstring curls where you lay face down and you tuck your feet underneath it and then from there, you can lock your feet in and uh, not fall on your face while you do it. So, you know, as far as the variety of workouts you can do, anything you want to do where you need to lock and isolate your feet and your ankles, this does a great job. Um, just make sure you have really good suction. So for me, for $25, it's well worth it. Um, I have a, my garage floor that I use this on. It's worked great for me. I, I don't foresee myself using anything else. Just how, because of how convenient this is and if you do end up breaking it or or you know something happens to it maybe the foam starts to go bad over a period of time it's so inexpensive that you could just throw it away and buy yourself a new one for 25 bucks so definitely a win-win situation um, i definitely recommend this for those of you again especially if you have lower back issues uh, and really want to isolate your feet when you're doing your midsection work so if you guys have any questions or comments make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box I'll put the link in the description box where you can find the suction cup ab bar, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.